I suppose my first experience of open source was kind of looking on the web for software that I needed to do something. Uh, and I use a Mac. And, in, and sometimes I would download pieces of software, uh, and they would, and within the software, the zip file or whatever it was, uh, there would be this text file that said license.txt, and I would never read it, of course. Uh, but you know, eventually I would you know, open one of these things up, and then I would discover that this thing was released under the, you know, the GNU public license or, or the GPL, uh, and. So when we came to develop the website, we we realised that we needed uh, something that was uh, going to be s strong as a social platform, so it would allow it kind of support logins. Uh, we knew it, we need, it needed to be fast to develop, uh, so something that had lots of plugins and a kind of uh, you know was kind of well developed and. We're a relatively small team, uh, but a very talented team and very fast at learning. And so, and when we selected Drupal as the website CMS, really because, mm, what are the main reasons? Okay, so firstly, there's no license fee. So there's an immediate financial saving. Secondly, it has an enormous number of plugins that can do all kinds of, uh, you know all kinds of things. So if you want comment threads, there's modules that can do that, or can that can do most of what you want, and you can kind of modify them themselves. Uh, third, thirdly, there's you know there's a huge community of people out in the world who are committed to that product product, and it's you know it's becoming very well established. Um, and so it kind of opened the opportunity for working with lots of different companies in the future without having to kind of. Uh, what had happened to the old website is we ended up with a kind of Frankenstein monster of lots of different kinds of technologies that have just been kind of added on to fulfill the needs of different projects. Um, and we wanted to reduce the overhead and have a kind of single core that was running everything. Uh, so it's not to say that open source is free, because it, it's not, but it's, uh, what you have is a very large number of people who have expertise uh, in that, um, the fact the fact that it, that the product itself comes without a license fee means that it's very easy for people to learn. So students can download Drupal or WordPress or one of these other open source systems and install them on their personal computer and kind of play with them and learn with them. Uh, we were also able to do a proof of concept for the new website very quickly. So we. You know, downloaded a copy of Drupal, we installed it on a, on a on a computer, and we basically just built as much as the website really fast in two weeks to see how far we could get. And we got a long way, which isn't to say that you know some of that code has ended up in the final website, but lots of it hasn't. But it was really just to show, let's see how much we can achieve. And what what you see is that uh, you know it's a fantastic, flexible tool that you can develop things very very fast, um, and we're not locked into a relationship with a single vendor who uh, controls the knowledge. Um, what are, what are the, the so in a, in a way it's, although it's partly a philosophical uh, belief that sort of open is better, um, you know, it, it, it truly is also, a, it is also a financial Decision that it will be it will be cheaper in the long run. It will be easier to hire people to come and become our Drupal developer. It will be easier to add things on. We'll be piggybacking on upcoming versions of Drupal. The modules you know will continue to be updated, and, and if they're not, we can either continue to update them themselves, or if there's a demand for that module, someone else may develop something uh, more similar. And I mean, I think, and I think the last thing to say is that Drupal is very strong on sort of data in and data out. And so integrating, well, I mean, we haven't done a deep integration with our collection, although we, we do plan to do that. The collection is actually built on a separate, uh, it's, it's a Java web app uh, for various reasons. And 
mainly that that project was slightly older and, uh, and uh, the downside of what we're discovering about Drupal 7 is that deployment is quite what well, deployment is quite hard and time consuming though apparently this is something that Drupal 8 will you know it's been identified that this is a problem and Drupal 8 is going to be a lot easier we hope the second thing is that we have a, quite a high traffic website and therefore we've had to put in you know there were quite a lot of worries about you know when you move from some a website that's really just HTML being served by a web server that's pretty that's pretty robust it's not it's it's not really likely to get hacked as soon as you have like user comments uh, you have user registrations it's much harder to cache pages so we've had to spend a lot of time and energy into uh, the caching so you kind of learn to love and hate caching on the one hand you love it because your website doesn't fall over on the other hand you create you hate it because it creates all kinds of pain and suffering about you know if someone comments you've got to flush the cache immediately on that page and so on uh, so yeah, we've had a very positive experience. And how did we, how did we, you know, a traditional IT department's response to needing a website content management system would be to write a list of requirements and then ask a, a series of companies to respond and, and, you know, almost that, what we ended up doing was doing a proof that, that Drupal was the system that could be rapid to develop and uh, we did a proof of concept very quickly and then we looked for companies that could help us with Drupal and you know we tried to find the best companies that we could and we were very very lucky and we were able to build uh, working with a number of partners a really very very strong team uh, people who, who built the website and, and the point at which it was the website was really being developed very very fast it was in the, you know, in the last few months where features were disappearing every few days was when we had this great team of Drupal developers and we had a great company that we were working with and stuff was just going very, very fast. And in terms of selling the decision internally to go open source and to go with Drupal, we simply used other examples and we said, well, the, you know, is it secure? Well, the whitehouse.gov is run on Drupal, so it must be secure. But they probably have like a thousand people working on the security. Uh, but, you know, so that solves that. You know, that kind of answers that question. And then we look, you know, is it a good publishing platform for generating and putting out content quickly and easily? Well, The Economist the website is, is also run on Drupal. And in terms of, uh, you know, community features, that's obviously one of the areas that it's really uh, very, very strong. We had some experience before, which is that we had a number of other Drupal sites. Our young people's website called Take Collectives runs on Drupal 6. And we have a, um, a uh, school's international schools collaboration project called uh, Turbine Generation that also runs on an instance of Drupal 6. So we had some experience already already in that and we'd had good experiences with those things. Um, yeah, so I'd recommend it to, to everybody.